Wer ist eigentlich dieser Sex? Oh Wow präsentiert Lustprinzip, der Podcast von Theresa Lachner. I've probably been a feminist since I was four. Yeah. I mean, I've been a feminist ever since I had to go around men, frankly. <laughs> Which was when I had to go to kindergarten. In your new book, you write, casual sex is not my thing anymore. Why is that? God, well, you know what? It actually never was my thing. Okay. <laughs> you know, when I think about it, 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 you know, it never was my thing because one's always, you, there's always going to be some kind of emotional involvement. I, I mean, for me anyway. And and it it's either going to be, you know, I mean, it always kind of goes one of two ways. Like somebody likes the other person more than the other one likes them. So that you either feel guilty or you feel like an idiot, you know? Yeah. I just don't want that kind of drama. Fair enough. So... You write about um, cubs, so young men that date older women, like that's a thing that you see um, more and more happening. Is it going to be more acceptable in the future, you think? Yes. I mean, it, it is. It definitely is. That really changed really because of porn and the MILF and its depiction of the hot older woman. So you have these young guys that they've grown up with that as a turn on. So that I do think is something that it truly is different, certainly different than, you know, a hundred years ago, 50 years ago, 30 years ago. Sex of the city back in the days, I feel like has made this whole concept of hookup culture, whatever exactly that means, um, like more popular and um, more acceptable in a way too, <laughs> right? When I first moved to New York in the late 70s and early 80s, it seemed like there was so much sex everywhere. And, you know, you would go out, you know, walk down the street. And I mean, I met people walking down the street You start talking, you continue talking. Sometimes you'd go and have sex. Um, so, you know, there's, there's that part of it. And then there's also the other side where if it's only hookups, that's not satisfying either. So it's a push pull of, you know, the freedom to do it, But that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be the only kind of mode of having sex. And it seems like it's, it's tipped over, you know, a little bit more into that fast, easy, you know, no consequences kind of hookup culture. Yeah. You know, for instance, I did the story on Tinder. Exactly. That's my favorite chapter from your new book, where you find out the the truth about Tinder. Can you tell our listeners a bit more about that? There's something about Tinder that it, in a sense, it brings out the worst in us. It brings out the most superficial. I'm just going to judge people on their looks. I'm going to judge people really, really fast. And it seems to play into women's worst nightmares about what men really think about women. Mm -hmm. The reality is that I think people are great at judging other people in real life. And we are terrible at judging people from a photograph or a screen. <laughs> so in a sense, you have to go through a lot more people to find somebody who might be of interest. But it definitely fosters a throwaway attitude towards sex, towards relationships. And it was interesting to me, and maybe it's also because of porn, but the sex that the women said that they were having, it was 
you know, it was like really fast and then the guy got off and that was it. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, I mean, gosh, when I was in my twenties, we used to, you know, I had sex for, you know, a good 30 minutes. <laughs> And then the guy was always supposed to make sure that the woman had the orgasm first, and then you had intercourse. So, I mean, you might be having sex for, you know, 20, 25 minutes before you had even had intercourse. And that doesn't seem to be true anymore. What, does, what do you think it will do to how, like, our sex and dating lives will change? I mean now we have this new normal where we're not supposed to touch someone else. I, I mean, I do think, I, I wonder about this myself too, because I think about people who spent a lot of time alone mm -hmm. in quarantine. And will those people say, hey, you know what? I need to live, I need to be with somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean that. I I wonder about that. Will it make people have more value in in you know relationships? <sighs>